Sustainable Development Goals – what are they and why is it important to get big businesses on board? Mark Deedon is with me, he's going to discuss more. Mark, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. So let's look at these SGDs. Can you take us back to basics and tell us what it's really all about to your mind? Absolutely, my pleasure. Um, the Sustainable Development Goals, as you say, or SDGs for short, uh, are a set of goals that all governments in the world have signed up on. Uh, and they define the global sustainability agenda for the coming 15 years. They address topics like poverty eradication, hunger, uh, education, human rights, uh, women empowerment, but also environmental topics like ecosystems, biodiversity and climate change. And why would you say they are so important for businesses, Mark? Well, that's an excellent question. Um, we all recognize that the world's problems today that the SDGs represent cannot be solved by one stakeholder group alone. They can't be solved by governments alone. They can't be solved by academia nor businesses alone. They need a consorted collaborative effort by all stakeholders jointly if we want to achieve the ambitious goals that the SDGs represent. And in fact, the SDGs explicitly call on businesses to use an innov innovation power, creativity, and technology development to address those challenges that the SDGs represent. So in short, if businesses aren't engaged, if they aren't driving this agenda forward, it ain't gonna happen. We won't achieve the goals that the SDGs uh, aim to achieve by 2030. Okay, so you say it ain't gonna happen, but from the business point of view, why would they get involved? I mean, not too many companies, businesses are flirting with the idea of spending more and cost is going to be a concern, obviously. Absolutely, but I think that's a misconception too by many businesses. And I think the opposite is true, that the SDGs can represent a big business opportunity for companies. Um, one obvious point is that businesses can't succeed in societies that fail. So helping to contribute to the SDGs will help support business pillars of success, stable society, stable markets. It does sound as though there are advantages for both sides, but what can businesses do sort of to help with the implementation of these SDGs? It's very important for companies to understand where to focus their action. Um, 17 goals, 169 targets, that's much too much for any company to build a meaningful strategy around. So firstly, companies must try to understand which SDGs are more relevant for them, depending on which sector they're in, which geographies they're active in, uh, which, what are their value chains, what are their strategic priorities. It's important to, to look at the SDGs and identify the ones that are most relevant for your company. And it's also important not just to look at your own operations, your own factories, your own office buildings, but to take a value chain approach. So this means that you also look at your supply base, uh, your operations, and also the products that you put on the market. So for example, maybe your suppliers have a lot of water intense operations. Uh, this can mean that you identify SDG 6, which uh, calls for, for clean water and uh, um, and, and, and access to, to water as, as a priority. So you work with your suppliers to, to reduce their water consumption in water stressed areas. That's one example. But another example can be that uh, you develop products that consume energy. So by focusing on innovation, by developing more energy efficient products, you can help your customers reduce their energy consumption, thereby contributing, contributing to SDG 7, which is on energy and energy efficiency, but also contributing to SDG 13, which is on climate change, because we know that energy relates to CO2 emissions. If you innovate, you develop energy efficient products, you help your customers reduce their CO2 footprint as well. And that's the holistic thinking that companies need to understand. They need to take that on board and then incorporate those sustainability topics into their core strategy and, and focus where they can have the biggest impact. Okay, so Mark, you are joining us as the manager of Redefining Value at WBCSD. So what can you tell us about what you guys are doing over there? Well, we recently launched uh, a publication called the SDG Compass. This is something we've done in partnership with UN Global Compact and GRI, which is the Global Reporting Initiative based in Amsterdam. And this is a guide for businesses how they can contribute to the SDGs. Um, a recent survey from PwC showed that uh, even though 91% of businesses are aware of the SDGs and that they probably mean something for their business, only 13%, one three, uh, identified the tools that they needed to engage and to, to you know, to understand how they can contribute to the SDG. So this is why we developed the SDG Compass. Uh, it's a business guide. It shows in a few simple steps how companies can understand how they can contribute to the SDGs, how they can align their strategies with the SDGs, 
and how they can manage and measure their impact. Um, the steps are in, in, in very uh, high level, first understanding the SDGs of course, then identifying your priorities, what we talked about earlier. Uh, the guide then explains how you can set goals that reflect the ambitions that the SDGs represent as well. The SDGs have uh, certain targets by 2020 and 2030, what can your company do to, to contribute to those? Uh, that's the third step. Step four is on integrating. How can you integrate sustainability into your core strategy? How can you make those goals uh, on sustainable development at par with the more traditional financial goals? How can you embed sustainability throughout your organization? And finally, how can you engage with partnerships? The SDGs hopefully uh, will be the common framework on sustainable development for the coming 15 years where all uh, stakeholders can rally behind and this will uh, make it easier for companies to form partnerships with other companies or other stakeholders. Well, Mark, there's so much information. It sounds like a really great initiative, but it's fantastic to have people like yourselves who are making it even more digestible for the businesses concerned. Thank you for coming in and telling us all about it today. Thank you. It's been my pleasure and thanks again for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. OK, well, that's all from Mark and myself for the moment, but there's plenty more coming your way on Ducoscopy TV, so make sure you keep on clicking back. Bye for now.